On this Friday evening now, we are watching from high above Sky Tracker now. It is day eight now, cascading into day two evening uh, eight for protesters in downtown Atlanta, and you see they are on the move. That is Marietta Street at Centennial Olympic Park Drive. We will continue to give you an update as to what is transpiring there right now into the evening. And tonight's 8 p.m. curfew is all set. And we are not that far away from that, about two and a half hours. Let's go now, Jeff, out to Joe Hankey at Atlanta Police Headquarters. Joe. Well, Aisha, we're actually about a block and a half away from APD headquarters. You can see a few dozen protesters behind me. This is as close as they could get to APD headquarters. They wanted to protest outside of the police department, but the National Guard and Atlanta police have the police department blocked off about a block away in all directions. They listened to speakers here for about an hour discussing the changes they want to see as the result of this week's, this past week's marches and protests. They're getting ready in a few minutes here to march from near APD headquarters towards Centennial Park to meet up with other protesters. Protesters. In the crowd down here is the uh, Jimmy Hill, father of Jimmy Atchison. Jimmy Atchison, a 21-year-old man killed during an officer-involved shooting in January of 2019 involving a joint FBI Atlanta Police Department task force who is serving a warrant. Hill's family currently has a lawsuit filed against the city. One of the organizers of this protest, he said that he believes actions will come as a result of this past week's protest. He plans to be out here for many more days as he believes right now that they have the attention of the police department and elected officials. This is manpower. They have to use manpower to do this. So the, the more we do this, the more money they have to put towards our cause. They're funding our cause. When we, when we out here supporting each other, we're, we're causing them. We hand them in their pockets. That's where, that's where they hurting at. That's what's important. The people who make the rules are the people with the money. The more we eat at their money, the more we can change the rules. And that organizer, when he addressed the crowd, he also pleaded with everyone to go vote on Tuesday. He said it's not enough to march or protest for a cause you believe in. You also need to follow through and be at your polling location on Tuesday. As I mentioned, this group here, they are about to start marching any minute now. They said they're going to head towards Centennial Park, where they plan to meet up with other protesters currently out in downtown. We'll send it back to you in studio.